so tell me what is inequality like if i give you an example 2x plus 3 equal to 5 and if i ask you what is this i'm sure you would say that since it has an equal to sign so it must be an equation or you can say that it is an equality now if I replace this equal to sign here with the inequality sign like if I put this greater than sign then I will get inequality as simple as that so I can put this greater than sign or I could have put a less than sign or can you suggest me some more options yes absolutely I can put greater than equal to sign one more I can put less than equal to sign that's it so you can have in all four signs of inequality so can you tell me now what would be the different types of inequalities one is the linear inequality and the other one is the quadratic inequality so as you must have already guessed that the inequality that is created from the linear equation would be the linear inequality isn't it the first example that I gave you 2x plus 3 greater than or less than whatever equal to 5 since here the power of x is 1 there is an invisible one so this is a linear equation so obviously the inequality that would be created would be a linear inequality following the same logic the inequality that would be created from a quadratic equation would be a quadratic inequality for example x square minus 6x plus 16 equal to 0 now this is a quadratic equation why because the highest power of x is 2 isn't it so if I replace this equal to sign with the inequality sign any sign greater than less than or less than equal to or greater than equal to we will have a quadratic inequality now we just need to know how to solve these inequalities so let's first find out how to solve a linear inequality so just like you solve the equation you take everything other than this x to the other side on this side so this plus 3 when it will go to the other side will become minus 3 so 2x greater than 5 minus 3 so 2x would be greater than what is 5 minus 3 2 now divide both the sides by 2 to get rid of this 2 from this side so I'll divide this side by 2 and I also divide this side by 2 so this thing goes away isn't it 2 1 times is 2 and this is 2 1 times is 2 so what do we have here x is greater than 1 that's your answer that's your solution you can even put the answer on the number line just to make it more visual easy for the eye this is your number line the middle portion is always 0 on the left hand side as you know you have negative values on the right hand side you have all the positive values so since you have a positive one here so you'll put one here and since x is greater than 1 so it will be all of these values that is from 1 to positive infinity so you can also write this answer like that you can put it in the interval form you can say 1 to positive infinity whichever way you put it it will be absolutely correct so far you must have seen that everything is fairly easy and straightforward so where can you possibly make a mistake and lose your precious marks in the exam I'll tell you where from my experience of teaching so many students over the years I'm going to give you a question and let's see how smart you are in avoiding that accident try to solve this question 5 minus 2x greater than 11 so like we always do we take everything to the other side other than this x x remains here everything else goes to the other side so first this positive 5 goes to the other side so it becomes negative 5 so we would have minus 2x greater than 
11 minus 5. 11 minus 5 is 6. We will have 2x greater than 6. Now, this is the accident prone area. This is where so many students, they lose their precious marks. What they do, in order to get rid of this minus 2, they divide both the sides by minus 2 without changing the direction of inequality. That is, this over minus 2, this over minus 2, this will become 1 and this will become minus 3. And the answer that they write in the exam is x greater than minus 3. So, do you think it's correct? It's wrong. This is where solving inequality becomes different from solving an equation. The rule of the inequality says that whenever we divide or multiply by a negative number, we have to change the direction of inequality. That means if it is greater than, it will become less than. If it is less than, it will become greater than. So basically whatever it is, it will become opposite of that. So the correct answer would have been, since this was greater than, so it would have become, yes, absolutely correct, less than. This would have been the correct answer.